the past 24 hours have been a testament to uh, what it's about in human spaceflight and really all the hard work that they poured into this spacecraft over many years to get us to this point. Toward the end of the day yesterday, uh, I would say it was around 4.30 local time here in Houston after they had performed some of the demos. Uh, we noticed a little bit of increase in the uh, helium leak rate that we talked about pre-launch. Um, we could see at the tank level when the system is opened, essentially you're bleeding helium from the tank all through the flight. And we could see that that leak rate was a little higher than, than we uh, had thought pre-flight. Um, what we found also was two other leaks in port manifold one, and that leak was a little larger than the ones we had seen before, um, 395 PSI per minute, so it was a new leak. Um, as a precaution, because we didn't need the capability to have all the thrusters, we're just maintaining attitude, pointing the tail toward the sun. We uh, closed that manifold overnight and slept in that configuration. And also in the top manifold one, we saw a new leak. It was about twice what we had seen in the port manifold, uh, 42 uh, PSI per minute. We also closed that one overnight. We ended up losing a total of five thrusters, um, starboard 2A2, the bottom doghouse 1A3, bottom 2A3, starboard 1A1, and the top 2A2 thruster. Now we recovered four of these five thrusters, so what we did is once the thruster fails, when, when I say thruster fails, what I mean is the software sees something that it doesn't like about that thruster. So the thruster uh, is maybe a little less thrust or the thrust rise rate doesn't come up exactly the way that the software is looking for. And so what the software does is it says, I won't use that thruster anymore. And so when we say failed thruster, we're talking it's not available for the GNC flight software to use. Um, these are not at all related to the helium leak. The helium leak is separate. It's in different doghouses. Um, it's different thrusters. So the helium leak and the thrusters are, are not uh, at all related. I think we'll have to take a little bit more time to figure out what's going on with the thrusters. Um, again, the rest of the rendezvous went really well. The, the VESTA system, which is a navigation system, worked great the whole time. Uh, all those sensors performed well. Um, the NDS system, the NASA docking system, which Jim talked about is going to be used for Orion, worked extremely well. That system performed nominally. Um, and, and so most of the vehicle did awesome going into the rendezvous.